What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be playing around with a ton of new Kiko products. I literally have like so many new products from them. I've got things from like their smart range, their normal range. I've got stuff from their jungle, jelly jungle and their dark treasure collection. I got a fresh layer of tan on, my hair is washed. I'm feeling good about this today. So if you guys don't know, I have done testing Kiko videos before in the past. I'll try and remember to link them down below, but let's face it, I always bloody forget. So if you just Google it or if you just search on YouTube, like my name and then testing Kiko, some videos will come up. I have done, I think two, I think two in the past and they've always been pretty good. So I got high hopes for this today. So you guys know the drill. Let's get our headband on because apparently I can't do my makeup anymore without putting like animal ears on my head. And let's get into the video. So like I said, I do have a lot to try out today, but I'm probably not gonna be able to get through everything. Um, I think the main thing I have the most of is like eyeshadow palettes. Like I've got this one from the Jelly Jungle collection, which looks nice. And then I just opened, not that one, I just opened this one. And I think, I think we're gonna be going for this one today because this color is just calling my name. Like these shades here, I kind of want to do something with them. I also have the Glitter Shower eyeshadow in the shade don't know, it's 05 and it's like a green. I think that's gonna have to be like the main focus on our lid. Um, and yeah, I just have like a bunch of different, different eye products. I've got one of their curl pencils. I cannot remember what color I picked this up in, like a greeny burgundy almost. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, yeah, we're using that today. Did I say that was greeny burgundy? I've got burgundy eyeshadow here. That's probably why I had it in my head. Uh, just ignore me, that's greeny blue. Um, but yeah, I have some of these other shadows as well. These are like, I think they're like creams, which I don't normally dabble in. Are they creams or, nope, they're loose. They look like that, swatchy swatchy, or are you creams? I think they are creams, but it's a weird texture. Boop. Just, just for reference, if you guys wanna see what these look like. We may use one, we may not, just thought I would show you guys those. This one's like, oh God, this one's like breaking in the pot. Let's press you back down in there. Squish, squish, squish. Blow away. So like I said, I think I am gonna be playing around with this glitter a lot today and a lot of like the bright colored shades in the, what palette even is this? The Smart Cult Eyeshadow Palette, this guy here. So I have been getting a lot of fallout in my recent video. So I wanna play it safe today and I am gonna start with my eyes and my brows. So let's do that. So I think what I'm gonna do today is start with brows. So what I have here is the Lasting Eyebrow Gel. This is in the shade 06. This looks like, ooh, cute little packaging there. I like that a lot. Oh, that looks, that looks very dark. Whoa, okay, but let's do it anyway. Wait, I haven't even moisturized. I have not even moisturized today. My face is like flaking off right now. 10 quid says that by the end of this video, I will have some kind of makeup on my wipe top. That's why I know why white because I am just a mess. All right, so let's try this out. So like I said, this is a lasting eyebrow gel. Is it gonna be like a gel or a pomade? Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of that on a Zoeva wing liner brush. Let's see. Ooh, that actually looks like a decent color. Very pigmented as well. So I'm just gonna take some of that off in the lid just so we're not getting too much there. And I'm gonna fill in my brows. Do some little hair strokes. Fill in that arch, swing. And I might actually even carve out my brows today. So I'm not gonna worry too much if it's not like perfect, because I will clean them up in a minute. Just fill that little bit in there. That looks, that looks pretty good. That actually isn't as intense as I thought it would be. Obviously it's quite an intense brow, but that's what we like. Yeah, that actually looks decent. And that was easy, like that was so easy. Just blend that out a little bit on the edges. Make it look a little bit more natural because as you can see, natural is always the look we're going for here. Balls that bit up there, but like I said, we are gonna be carving them out in a second, but that's nice. I really like that actually. I'm probably gonna be using that a lot more. So then to carve out my brows and to do a little bit of priming on my lid, I think I will use the full coverage concealer. I feel like I've used this before. I feel like I have. Um, I've got shade 01 and 02. Let's see what 02 is like. So obviously I have got a bit of a tan on today. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush. This one's just from Sigma and just Warm that up on the back of my hand a little bit. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna carve up my brows there a little bit. Just like that. Nice. And I'm also gonna go on my lid as well. Kind of use it as like an eye primer. And I'm just gonna carve out the top of my brow. Like I'm not gonna do it too much at the front because then I find it looks a little bit too like painted on. But just like that. It is quite thick. 
but it seems to be working well for an eye base. You know what, I'm changing my brush, I'm just using one from BH, because I want something a little bit more precise for my brow. Just like that. Oh yeah. I look crazy, but this looks very promising. So then we're gonna move on to this palette here. Like I mentioned, this is the Smart Cult Eyeshadow Palette in 01. I think they maybe have like two or three different ones. Is that a matte or are you a shimmer? Oh, I think that's a matte, good, that's what I want. So just there, I'm gonna go in with this shade up here with a little kind of like dense fluffy brush. A lot of fallout, but whatever. Pack that all over my lid. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then gonna take a petite crease brush from Zoeva and go in with this orangey shade. They seem pretty pigmented actually. I'm gonna pop that in my crease. What's that little, what's that little piece on there? Little dusty bit. Just pop that in my crease. That actually seems to blend out really easily. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be, but it builds up within like the second application. So that's not bad because it means obviously you can do something a little bit more subtle or you can go a bit more bold. And I think today we want to do bold. Okay, I'm just gonna dust my, dust my brush off on my trousers. So then I'm gonna take this shade here, I think, this super bright pink, just on the same brush. That looks so good, that looks so good already. And I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner, I think, and kind of like half on my crease, half, half not on my crease. Just kind of look down at my mirror and blend that in. Blendy, blendy, blendy. So I'm just doing it like half on the orange, half on my lid, just to kind of like blend the orange into the pink. Take a little bit more orange and just go over the top of that. I used to like really, really fluffy brushes, but these days I'm really liking these like slightly denser fluffy brushes. Fun fact. Fun fact that's not actually that fun at all. That's looking pretty good so far. I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah, happy with that. I'm then gonna take this slightly angled fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with that purple, I think. Um, I do wanna kind of cut the crease a little bit, but I sometimes find that if you don't put something on your outer corner first, then it can kind of make it look, I don't know, a little bit patchy almost. So, whoa, that looks, that looks good. So I'm gonna put some more of that just on my outer corner and just kind of like do it along my lids. Cause I don't really know what I wanna do with it yet, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Not a clue. Just now I wanna put glitter all over my eye in a minute. So I'm just kind of like massaging that into my crease. Okay, pretty happy with that. Then I'm actually gonna go back in with that concealer that I used all over my lid to start off with. And I'm gonna do a little bit of like a half cut crease, I think. So I'm just gonna, I'm using this little mirror cause it's actually kind of handy. I'm just gonna swipe that down. Whenever I do cut creases, my contacts like move all over the place. So sorry if I look like a weirdo. This Concealer seems to be working well over the top so far. Very well, actually. I'm then gonna take this very stained brush and I'm gonna go in, let me just check what this um, glitter is actually like, because I don't know if it's like a, a loose glitter or like a pressed glitter or if it's like a cream. I've got no idea what it's like, so let me just try this first. Oh shit, that is actually just like a glittery eyeshadow. It's like got proper pigment on the actual shadow itself, but it also has glitter in it. Okay, that actually, that excites me a lot. So what I'm gonna do is take this blue shade here, just with this flat brush. Is that not just so stunning? Um, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pack that all over my lid, I think. Oh my God, that is, that is like, I don't even know. I have no words, that just looks, Fucking great. I'm actually gonna go in with a really, really tiny brush to do like the cut crease bit. I gotta be honest, this color is like unreal, but it does look a little bit, a little bit patchy. It's kind of like dragging on my eyelids a little bit. How can we stop this? How can I stop you from dragging all over the place with the eyeshadow? I don't know what to think right now. Um, I'm gonna go in with this shade here. I wasn't gonna use this one, but I am gonna just kind of go over the top of that just to blend that into my purple a little bit more. It just looks really patchy there. Like, why is that? Why is it doing that to me? There wasn't any creasing. Why are you doing that? Then just take a little bit more of that purple and just kind of build that up. I've got to say, it's actually very minimal fallout here. I'm gonna bring that purple onto my lid a little touch more and then just dust off that brush that I was using for my blue. And I'm gonna take that orange again and just kind of Fill in the rest of that cut crease there, just to neaten it up. 
I feel like cut creases look so good on some people, but they look so bad on me. I feel like they just make me look like a bit of an alien. I did like that, and now I'm just a bit like... Just that green. That amazing green just is playing me here. I'm trying to sort it out, but I feel like I feel like we've done all we can do. I'm gonna leave it like that for a second, and then I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of that pink and just blend that in. Okay. I don't know. If, I don't know if I like this. Then gonna take that green eyeshadow, and I don't know if this is gonna screw it up or not. I really don't know. I feel like I should have just used this instead of the um, the other green. So I'm gonna take that on the same brush that I used with that green and try and really press that all over my lid. <laughs> It's not really coming off as glittery as I wanted it to. Let's try it with, like, with a damp brush. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh, are we saving it here? Are we saving it? Try and blend that glitter slightly onto my lid a bit more. I feel like we're getting there, but this glitter is taking a while to build up. But it definitely seems like you need some kind of like tacky base or like a glitter primer or Fix Plus or something on your brush. But I feel like this is actually saving the day a little bit. This might actually look okay. I always feel weird when I do my eyes before I do anything else because I feel like it just doesn't look right. But this actually, this could be okay. So then I'm gonna take this liner. This was the Color Kajal Cold Pencil in the shade 07. Don't think it has a color or anything, but it was that, that amazing color right there. So I'm gonna shove that in my eyeballs. Um, let's just pop that on the lower lash line. Ooh, that's pretty. Takes a little bit to like warm up on your eyes, but it doesn't like, it doesn't feel uncomfortable to warm it up or anything. I'm gonna bring that around my tear duct ever so slightly. I don't wanna like tight line with it, but I'm just gonna kind of bring that around my tear duct just to smoke it out almost. I like that little color combo. I'm just gonna take that brush that I was using before and like slightly diffuse the outer part of my eye there. So now what I'm gonna do, cause that took me a long ass time, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I will check back with you for the base and everything else. All right, so eyes are done. Am I the only person that absolutely hates their makeup when they do their eyes and brows first? Cause I feel like, I feel like I just look like a dick. That's, that's what I feel like. So right now I feel like a hot mess, but hopefully we can change that. So next, next I'm gonna move on to Primer. So what I have here is the matte face base. So let's try this out. I'm guessing it's just, I think I've actually used the like radiance one before and I don't think I minded it. But this scares me because this is like some kind of gel. Are you like, okay, it's not silicone-y. It does just feel kind of like moisturizy. Moisturizy. Smells like, what is that smell? It smells like hair mousse, but also like something I've eaten before. Ollie said that he's gonna be back home in a minute and he's gonna come in, get his ID, cause he always gets ID'd, and get a couple of bottles of beer. And he's also gonna get me a little bit of something as well. And I'm so excited because today has just been one of those days where everything's been going wrong. I just, just wanna make myself look pretty. I just wanna feel, I just wanna feel pretty and get drunk. That's all I wanna do. Seems to be quite tacky actually. Um, doesn't really seem to be that matte either. Um, but I'm into it. So next I have two different foundations. We have the Full Coverage Turn 1 and the Foundation and Concealer from the Dark Treasures collection. Uh, let me have a look. They both claim to be full coverage, so I'm, I'm down. Let's have a little look-see. Ooh, love the packaging of the Dark Treasures. Very nice. Oh, it's a stick. Decent color. This is in the shade 05. I think it said like honey or something. Almond. Close enough, honey, almond, same thing. Um, and then we've got this, which has a doe foot, which again, looks like pretty decent color. Maybe I'll use like half and half. Let's do this one on my forehead. Da -da 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 -da. That looks so thick, but I'm kind of living for it. Um, this one claims to be a concealer as well, actually. So maybe I'll use that one under my eyes and then I'm gonna take the stick foundation very creamy, which is what I like. Okay, you can see that the stick is a little bit more of like a yellow tone than the liquids. This looks like it's gonna be so full coverage and I'm very, very excited. Okay, I cleaned all my brushes the other day and I'm very excited about it. Super, super thick. Oh my God, yes, that has coverage. Hello, how you doing? Please, 
block out my face. Thank you so much. Have a great day. The liquid foundation, as probably expected, does blend out a lot easier than the stick. The stick is a bit more sticky. I think I prefer the liquid one, actually. I think that color works a bit better. And I think I just generally prefer it. I mean, the stick one is still really nice. I will definitely be using that again. Uh, maybe in like another first impressions or something like that. Looks good on the skin. It does look a little bit... It does look a little bit cakey, but it is very, very full coverage. But the... um. The liquid one looks really good. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of even myself up a little bit with the liquid one, the full coverage two in one. Even myself out a little bit there. Yeah, definitely prefer the liquid one. This seems a little bit more glowy and a little bit more like, even though it is super full coverage, a little bit more skin-like almost. You know what guys, I might not actually wear concealer today. I know it's like technically a concealer, but I kind of feel like this is going to work. Okay, let's see how this blends out. I'm going to kind of clean up under my eye a little bit. Because that eye pencil has run a little bit. It's kind of like run in my inner corner a bit. Which isn't, isn't my favourite look. Oh my god. I know I still look a little bit crazy, but thank god for foundation and stuff. Because now I actually look a bit more put together. Let's just like sharpen that up there. Swing. Oh, this looks good. Actually, as a concealer, reminds me a lot of Tarte Shape Tape, which I think is why I'm getting on with it so well. Okay, now I've got foundation on, I actually look a little bit more normal. Still look crazy with my little antlers, but I feel like I look a little bit more normal now. So yeah, I'm really happy with that base. Not even going to use concealer. That's how much I like it. So then I have I have a powder somewhere around here. The Dark Treasures Finishing Powder. Um, I'm guessing this is just in like translucent. Ooh, sparkly. It's got like a little kind of like... Looks like a little reptile or something. Um, okay, so this is a pressed powder, which I don't normally like, but hey, I'm open to anything, so let's try that out. Just make sure we're not creasing or anything under my eyes, which we're not. So sweet. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, a lot of kickback, just a heads up, and set my under eyes. Okay, seems to be quite mattifying, but not in like a cakey way. I feel like this smells good. Can't tell if it's the brush or the powder but it kind of smells like chocolate. I know a lot of Kiko products do smell like chocolate, like their bronzers and stuff do, but this smells like chocolate as well. Yeah, that just kind of like gets rid of any shine, which is pretty cool. Let me like try and show you guys. Let's see, a little bit of shine maybe on my nose. Just kind of gets rid of it. This smells so good. Why does it smell so good? I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and just pat that all over my skin. You actually pick up a good amount of powder, so, you can actually mattify your face down as opposed to just like using this throughout the day to touch up your makeup. This just seems to work really well. Well, my mustache is in full force today, guys. That's not a cute look. Eye pencil is still running on my inner corner. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had this. I've got this thing called the Jelly Jungle Highlighter. Oh, I want to use that. I don't know if it'll work on powder though. Mmm, that looks good. Let's try it. Let's try it. So I'm gonna pop that on my cheek up here. To be fair, I didn't powder down too much there. So we might be okay. Take my sponge and just press that into my skin. Pretty, 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 pretty. I probably wouldn't leave it on your skin for too long over the top of powder because it might start to take it away. But if you just apply it like straight away with a sponge, I'm having no problems with that whatsoever. Yes, 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 yes. It's not actually as intense as I thought it was gonna be, but it does look really, really nice. And let's face it, we're going to be adding more than one highlighter today because it's me. Oh, we've got another highlighter here as well. Oh, oh shit. Okay, we're using that in a minute. Um, but I'm just going to bronze up with this guy here, which I believe is matte. We've got like a kind of like under eye setting powder, I guess you could use that for. It's like a matte highlighter. Um, and then we have three blushes as well. Probably just going to like mix all three of them together and do something. Um, so yeah, let's start off with this like bronzing shade. Looks very dark in the pan, but actually looks looks pretty kind of natural on the skin. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Nice clean F42. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that on my cheeks. Nice. Seems to be like a kind of bronzy contouring sort of bronzer. Not too warm, not too cool, just the right amount. This isn't actually as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, which isn't actually a bad thing because... Ugh, itchy nose again. Because 
it means I'm able to build up quite kind of naturally. That looks really pretty. Yeah, I really like that bronzer. I thought that was gonna be like stupidly intense, which is why I started off with a light hand, but that actually looks really, really nice. It's not too much or anything. So next, what I think I'm actually gonna do is do a little bit of nose contouring, just very, very lightly, because you guys seem to really like it when I did that last time. So I'm gonna do it. If you guys like it, I'm gonna do it. I'm literally just taking a really, really fluffy brush. I normally use this for contouring uh, my face, but I'm just gonna pop it down the sides of my nose. And then I'm actually gonna take that um, like matte highlighting powder and just go down the center of my nose again, just to kind of blend out any harsh lines. That looks nice. Doesn't look too much different in, in my eyes, but you guys seem to like it when I did that. So then it's time to highlight. So I'm gonna be using that, but I also have one of the water eyeshadows. Now, if you guys don't know, the shade 208 from Kiko is literally like one of my favorite highlighters of all time. It is an eyeshadow, but it is the perfect dupe for Mac O Darling. And I saw this and I thought it could be, could also be a decent highlighter. It looks a little bit dark for me looking at it, um, but I mean, we can try it. We can definitely try it. Like, look at that. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because it does look, it does look like it could be a little bit dark. Let's do it on my cupid's bow first, just in case, because we can easily get rid of that. Where the hell is my, there it is, my boy. So I'm gonna take some of this. I don't think I mentioned the color. This is in the shade 200. I mean, it, it looks good actually. I think it is ever so slightly too dark for me, but that looks nice. These shadows, by the way, are amazing, both like for the eye and for your face. Um, but yeah, I just thought I wanted to try that out just in case any of you guys had different skin tone than me, you wanted to try that out. I did it for you. So then we're gonna move on to this guy here. So excited for this. Um, I'm gonna take my Luxe Powder Fusion Brush and we'll see what the hell we can freaking do. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That is very, very pretty. Especially on top of that um, liquid highlighter. Hit the brow bone a little bit or the top of my forehead. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's, that's freaking nice. Here comes Ollie. Here comes Ollie, here comes Ollie. Okay. Still going, you gonna get some wine for me? Could I get a nice bottle of wine, please? This looks so good. What the hell, that actually looks kind of great. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop some on my brow bone as well. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Whoa. And I feel like I do wanna put a little bit on my inner corner. I know I always pretty much wanna put something on my inner corner, but I feel like it just looks a bit dead without it. Just a little tiny bit. Normally I go like, crazy on my inner corner, but if I just pop a little tiny bit there, just kind of lighten up the inner corner of my lid. Nice. Okay, so um, love that, if you couldn't already tell. Let's just add a little bit of blush as well. I'm gonna take my F42 again, and I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of everything uh, and just pop that just in between my bronzer and highlight. Make me look a little bit more alive, a little bit less beige. Sweet. Okay, I wasn't feeling this look to start off with, but now I'm feeling it, now I'm like, how you doing, girl? So then we have the Dark Treasure Mascara. This, I believe, is just in black, or at least I hope it's just in black, because otherwise this look is just gonna go wild. Another little, like, reptilian component there. So, what the hell? This is like the tiniest one I've ever seen in my entire life. This mascara is giving off some small dick energy right now. Um, let's pop some of that on my lashes. Oh, oh, it's got grip. He's gripping on for dear life there. I normally don't like smaller ones for mascara because I find that they just take longer than they need to, but I like what it's doing to my lashes there. Just realized as well that I haven't actually put anything on my lower lash line. Yeah, I feel like I probably should. This mascara is pretty good actually. The wand is a little bit annoying because it is so small, but it does mean that I can kind of get right into the corner of my lashes. The wand is like kind of throwing me off a little bit because it's not what I'm used to, because normally I'm used to something that's like twice the length, but that looks good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do before I do put any of this on my lower lash line, I'm gonna take that little brush that I used earlier and I'm just gonna take a little bit of like this orangey shade, I think again. Just put a little bit of that, not like too smoky, just so there is just like something going on my lower lash line. This flipping liner is just constantly running. I don't even have like watery eyes or anything, but yeah, I feel like that just makes it look a little bit kind of like put together. I feel like this side just looks a little bit more unfinished without it. So let's add some more of that. Let's finish off with some more of that mascara. 
Oh yeah, this is a good one for lower lashes. Nice. So I definitely think this look warrants some falsies, so I will add them in a second, maybe at the end or something. But next I'm gonna move on to lips. I have two lip products. Okay, we have a clear gloss, and then I have, that's a concealer, and then I have 01 uh, Matte Liquid Lip Color. No idea what shade this is. Thank God, it's a nude. I feel like I nearly picked up a like super super green color so i was sitting there looking at myself thinking this is this is not gonna look great like a greeny colored lip with a green eye might not be the best look in the world so i'm happy i've got this let me just like give my lips a good old lick there so this is in the shade zero one rosetto it smells great i'm gonna pop that all over my lips Ooh, i love that color it's taking a sweet time to dry down though does it dry down yeah, matte liquid lip color. And now we wait for it to dry down. So while I'm waiting for this to dry down, I'm just gonna go ahead and go off camera and chuck on some falsies. No idea what, I'm just gonna see what I've got in the drawer next to me. So, uh, be right back. All right, so that finally dried down. I did go ahead and add some lashes. These are ones from the Doll Beauty, Beauty Bay collection thingy. I don't know what the name is, but they're nice. Love them, definitely recommend. Um, but yeah. Lips dried down, did take a little while, but it does feel very, very comfortable on my lips, so I'm not too mad about that. So then, oh, I forgot we actually had this. Then we have the Face Makeup Fixer. Um, I'm looking a little matte right now, so I'm just gonna use this. Hopefully it'll kind of bring me back to life a little bit. That feels very light, it literally feels like hairspray. I was expecting it to put some life back into my skin, but it just kind of like, just set it even more, so. There's that. Um, let's take this, let's take this headband off for a second. Okay, let's see how we're looking right now. I gotta say, I'm really digging this look. It's pretty out there, but I'm digging it. So then, like I said, I do have this clear gloss. Um, I'm gonna give this a go, I think. I think I might actually lighten the center of my lips a little tiny bit because, I don't know, I don't normally like darker, glossier lips. So I'm just gonna take whatever is left on that brush that I used with my concealer earlier. In fact, I might actually even take a little bit from this stick foundation. Plot that down there. Make it super, super nudey. Put all that in. Just kind of lightens it a lot more. Yeah, I think I like that more. And then just for the hell of it, we'll chuck some gloss on because I don't normally do glossy lips, but why the hell not? It smells great. Makes these lips look super juicy. This really isn't gonna stay clear for long, is it? Ooh. I think this is one of the best looks I've done in a while, actually. I like it. I like that a lot. All right guys, so this is a finished look. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you've tried out any of the products that I featured today. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there's anything else you think I need to try. If you enjoyed this video, as always, you know what to do by now. Please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.